Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to open some Japanese mystery packs. Now before we start, just a big thank you to all the people that subscribed from the V-Star Universe Booster Box opening video. That's awesome. Thanks so much. Big shout out to all of you. Uh, I definitely want to open some more V-Star Universe in the future. It's just that right now it's hard to find boxes at MSRP and I am someone who refuses to buy modern booster boxes at above msrp so we'll have to wait until those prices come down in the next waves but we will definitely open some more there's also some stuff coming in from the pokemon center online that i'll be opening so that should be coming in about a week ish roughly but uh yeah as you can see in the background um, some eye candy for today i didn't open any more packs but i did go out and buy some singles i bought the dark Rai v star the mewtwo v star and the charizard v star um, because these cards are insane. These are like my four favorite cards from the whole set and to already have them right now just feel pretty happy with that. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the actual content of the video today. Yesterday I went to a place I had never gone to before in Tokyo. I went to a place called Nakano Broadway. Nakano Broadway is kind of like in a shopping center but it's like pretty old and a little bit run down. And it has a couple floors with all sorts of, you know, just geek content, like really cool stores. I mean, there's stores that sell figurines and, you know, there's stores that sell Pokemon cards, a lot of just secondhand stores, basically. And anything you can think of, really. I mean, they also sell watches and whatever, like, it's an interesting place. I've never, I've never been there before. So I was like, you know what, I'll go there and I'll see if I can find some mystery packs. Now I didn't find too much, unfortunately. I think you'll definitely find more in the famous places like, you know, Ikipukuro or Akihabara. But I did find what I was, what I thought was very interesting. I found a place that sold these kind of mystery packs. Now it wasn't a store. It was actually a place where people, individuals can rent like a booth or like a little section within a booth and sell their own products. So again, they had everything from figurines to Pokemon cards to just, it was all different. I'll throw up a picture to show you what the box looked like where I found these mystery packs. So these were 500 yen each and there's two hollows basically guaranteed and we'll find out about the rest. And then I went to an actual kind of card shop that was there and they had uh, mystery packs like this for sale. And this one, I still have the receipt. Uh, this one was 1,500 yen. Um, so, but I think it's just one card. So who knows what's in here, but we'll start with these. So yeah, like I said, these were 500 yen each and I thought they looked pretty cool. I picked up this Magnuson level X here because I was like, you know, why not? Um, has a nice black and white hollow on the back. I don't know what's in here. Um, I don't expect these to be <laughs> really that good. Uh, let's just get this. Oh, oh, there we go. So again, this is like not a store. This is from a person just making a mystery pack themselves and selling it uh, in that little booth section. And so they don't really have to worry about their reputation. So, you know, these condition wise are not gonna be very good again for 500 yen, but I just thought it would be interesting to see what's in here for the channel to make an interesting video. So we're starting off with a Magnuson uh, Level X here. Nice swirl down there. Um, I'm not gonna like worry too much about condition on, of any of these. I'm just gonna throw go through the cards. We got a uh, S8B, I think this is from BMX Climax, and then we're gonna get, yeah, a bunch of uh, commons and uncommons. non hollow is here, oh, we're gonna flip it around. Alrighty. So mystery packs you can find in all the major card shops. Oftentimes they come in vending machines, where you pay, put a thousand yen into a vending machine and then like a little thing drops out. Um, usually with the ones you get from stores, at, le at least with the big and, you know, famous stores, um, with those, uh, you usually get like decent value. You never get like, you never really get ripped off. Uh, yeah, we can see like the condition of these, is, like just horrendous. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, about the Pokemon Go one, even the Pokemon Go one has like... <laughs> Whitening. So I knew going in that we we're gonna get like we're not gonna get anything in good condition here. But still, you know, for 500 yen, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, usually with the big store ones, you usually get like decent value. The problem, of course, with mystery packs is in general. Uh, next, going into the Flygon here, I picked this one up just because the haul looks insane and it is unlimited. For those of you who know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically. 
big issue with mystery packs is uh, not just that you oftentimes don't get full value. You know, in Japanese card shops, like I said, it's actually not too bad value wise, but you don't get the cards you really want, right? You're better off just buying the card you actually want. Uh, nevertheless, it's good fun, and you know these were inexpensive, and I just thought it'd be interesting to see it in a video. So yeah, this Flygon is really cool, unlimited, so that's that's neat. Very nice card. These are all going to be in the binder. Oh, we got another Hollow here, pretty cool. That's a six A, and then we're going to get into some some non Hollows here. Just going to go through these quickly. I make this a very kind of short, brief video. All right, so the whole back and forth. <laughs> I feel like they could have spent a little more time just <laughs> putting these in like proper order or like not order, but like direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, we know what this this one is. We still on the back. That's pretty cool. It's like, that's an older one, X and Y hollow. That's pretty cool, first edition. And then we got one more. Oh, one more hollow here, a modern one here. Very cool. All right, yeah, pretty neat. Again, for 500 yen, you can just go out and buy a better card <laughs> or, you know, for 500 yen, you can probably find this Flygon in actual like near mint condition, whereas this one is probably, that's, uh, yeah, it has a bit of like a little bent corner there. So yeah, like for 500 yen, you could probably find this card in like near mint condition, but you know, the mystery is fun. So I picked this one up because I like the artwork, I like the value here and then on the back, Get another black and white hollow. Here we go. All right. I'm going to start it off. So we're going to dive. This is diamond and pearl. Yeah. Awesome swirl in the top there. Just beautiful. And then we get another modern hollow here. And then we're going to go back into the non hollows. I like this crabby a lot. Total dial. Very cool. All righty. Okay, so duplicates, mm, yeah, this is kind of cool, Charmeleon Charmander. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they could have made these a bit more, a bit more exciting to open now, but uh, still, that's pretty cool. And another Modern Hollow. So yeah, um, yeah, I, I'm happy. You know, I think for 1,500 yen, getting these hits is pretty good. You know, obviously this, the Ultra Modern Hollows are not really worth much at all, but Go into the more the more older vintage cards here. I think that's fair, you know, even in this condition, they'll look good in the binder. And so, yeah, if you're if you're wondering why I'm not sleeving these, it's because they're already <laughs> they're already pretty beat up. But uh, I'll put them in a sleeve before I put them in the binder. All right. So now this is the big one. Um, this one, like I said, was a thousand five hundred yen. You can see it again here. Yeah was there at 6 p.m. yesterday. So um, I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like where these were displayed. Uh, maybe it even shows like the chase cards. I've gotten lucky with these before, not from this store, actually from a store in Kyoto. I bought one for a thousand yen and I actually got the uh, RCS uh, alt art, RCS V alt art, which was like, oh my goodness, that was pretty insane. But, uh, you know, uh, usually you, well, you don't, usually you don't, uh, you don't win, obviously, but uh, if even with these that are like a thousand five hundred yen, like you're still going to get around a thousand yen in value, even if you don't get lucky. So it's not too bad, but yeah, so it's just like a little, uh, little sleeve in here. And this is, so it is two cards, I think. So every store does it a little bit differently. All right. So. It looks like, yeah, so, okay, so this is the chase card, or this is the, not the chase card, but this is going to be our hit. It's just covered up so it don't, doesn't get spoiled by this Mary. Oh, nice. It's a VMAX, I think a VMAX Climax, S8B, reverse. All right, what do we get? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a full art. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Um. Yeah, this is probably like value wise down there. I think uh, we definitely could have pulled something a little bit better or hoped for something a little bit better, but I don't have this one in my collection yet. So that's kind of neat, but uh, mm, 
not great. Uh, just because, like I said, usually you get a th around a thousand yen in value. Now, I don't know the value of this card at the top of my head, but you know, knowing how a lot of full arts, even popular Pokemon full arts, go for like five, 500, 600 yen, uh, I don't think this is going to be too valuable. Either way, this was a fun little video. I think I'll make more of these in the future, but I think I will try. I won't go back to Nakano Broadway. It was interesting to go there, but eh. I didn't see too much that I felt like, you know, I saw they had a lot of cards. One card shop had a ton of vintage cards and like sealed promos. They had everything, but everything was just way overpriced. Um, so I think I'll go back to some of the more popular ones like Dragon Star, Hallelujah, uh, those kind of places and buy some of those um, mystery packs from there for a future video. And we'll see how those stores do in comparison to what we got today. But anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content coming in the future and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.